So I don't know if you saw on Twitter, I posted what I was going to be talking about today. I'm a Cox customer and digital correspondent and live here in Las Vegas and just found out that we could possibly not be getting the Super Bowl. Now in my household, that is grounds for a lot of, of drama and sadness. Um, my husband is a ginormous football fan. It takes over our lives every season, fantasy football, all that great stuff. And so by default, I have become a football fan um, and and want to watch the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is my, like, the number one game I want to watch. So here is what's going on. And if you're a Las Vegas resident, I'm actually going to give you um, some action to take because we, we, as consumers, can use our voices to actually change what's going on here. Okay, who's my team? I have been going back and forth. Um, for Super Bowl, who's my team? Or in reality, like everyday games. I'm from Chicago. So I guess the Bears, but I'm not a diehard Bears fan. <laughs> um, but for the Super Bowl, I think I am going to go with Carolina. Don't judge me, Broncos fans, because I know Peyton Man's awesome. <laughs> but I, I, I don't even know why um, with Carolina. I just have a feeling. Um, but maybe I'll switch. Who knows? Maybe you could, you could, um, you could get me to, to switch teams. Okay. So I want to give some background about what's happening here because it really is a, a very big deal. So KLAS, hey Sarah, hashtag MU. Hi. Hello. Uh, KLAS here in Las Vegas is threatening to pull their signal from Cox Communications lineup. I'm a Cox digital correspondent and a customer, and they're threatening to pull it because Cox won't agree to pay them 300% more than they received today for their next contract, which is a whole lot of money. And I'm lucky enough that because I work with Cox at a corporate level, I get access to this information directly to find out what's going on. And I want to explain what is actually fueling this from a um, both a consumer and a business perspective. So video distributors like satellite and cable companies like Cox Communications and other cable service providers around the country, whoever you subscribe to, they actually have to pay for the right to distribute each channel that they broadcast, which is crazy on their lineup. And the amount of money that these particular channels charge cable companies, um, it keeps rising and it's rising at unreasonable rates. And what happens is those rates get transferred on to us as the customer. So if you've ever complained, my cable bill's too high or I'm worried about it going up, that is that is one of the reasons. So companies like Cox, cable companies, are actually fighting back to um, keep costs as low as possible because they wanna offer a great price for video service because many times you're going to them not just for your cable service provider but for your internet connection or your home automation, home security system. So this is just a, a tension that happens to exist today. Um, and it's especially high between local broadcast stations where um, the public access to the, access the signal um, over the air for free. Uh, so. I want to go slow through this because it can be a, a little confusing, but again, I'm going to give you a call to action that you can use and you can ask questions here. But most important is that I want to watch the Super Bowl and I don't want it to go away because I now have to pay more on my cable bill because Nexstar and KLAS are wanting to charge 300% more with their Cox contract. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story that was just released. So, um, in the case of KLAS, who is owned by Nexstar, they just helped fund a $4.6 billion mega merger with uh, some uh, another broadcast station. Now, I'm not implying this is the case, but it is a coincidence that there's a $4.6 billion merger and all of a sudden a 300% ask increase to Cox Communications. If it were in fact that they were asking for this money to fund this merger, that means they're really relying on me as the consumer, as the customer, to help pay for this merger, and that that just doesn't fly with me. Um, and now, while Nexstar hasn't done this, other broadcasters like them have blacked out local communities nearly 200 times in the past year. So that means you go to turn on a, a local station like a CBS or NBC, and it's blacked out. You don't get access to that content. And that's what would happen here in Vegas. If Cox says, we're not going to pay this 300%, you're going to remain 
uh, and they say you have to pay it and Cox says no you don't then a blackout occurs and we don't get access to the Super Bowl on CBS which is that's crazy to me and again I do work with Cox I'm a digital correspondent for them this is how I have access to the information and I I love that they're fighting to keep the cost reasonable and I've seen chatter online and on Twitter of customers who are getting angry uh, that this is a, a possibility and they're reaching out to Cox telling them I'm really upset that this would happen but that's actually not the right path to take. I wanted to share that you can reach out to KLAS on Twitter at Las Vegas Now and with hashtag Nextstar N-E-X-S-T-A-R to let them know you uh, it, Threats do happen regularly, but this threat is happening during a major um, broadcast event during the Super Bowl. And so we want to make sure that it doesn't occur. Um, because again, the end cost, if if let's say Cox said, yes, uh, we'll agree to your 300% increase, three times more than what they're already paying, that end cost comes to us, the customer. And I, I don't want that. Cox doesn't want that. So I want to get more voices active uh, immediately <laughs> flood um, KLAS and Nextstar um, using hashtag keep Super Bowl in Vegas. Um, I'm tweeting everything from my Twitter account at PR Sarah Evans so you can do that too and you can let people you know who live in Las Vegas uh, know that they can do the same thing. Um, I just I don't agree with it. It's not the right thing to do and again there's this 4.6 billion dollar merger that's happening at the same time this 300 percent increase um is ask is occurring so that seems like a crazy coincidence to me um i'd like to keep costs manageable for myself as a customer and i'm sure cox communications as a company wants to keep costs manageable for their customers they don't want to have to charge more right so join me tweet at las vegas now hashtag nextstar n-e-x-s-t-a-r and hashtag keep super bowl in vegas if you guys have any questions i'm actually going to be moving over and doing a facebook live um, stream as well but you can tweet me questions here you can also go to coxcommitment.com if you have specific questions for them as a cable service provider but again the right channel is to let the companies know who are making the ask for the increase happen. Yeah, it's crazy to think about all the money that goes through Vegas for this. Um, so if you were a Cox customer in Las Vegas, and let's say Cox said, no, we're not paying this 300% increase, and Nextstar KLS were not willing to negotiate, there would be a blackout, which means any Cox Communications customer in Las Vegas would not have the ability to broadcast the Super Bowl from their home television screens. And we're already paying for this. We're paying as cable customers for the ability to watch the Super Bowl from our home televisions, right? I want to sit down and watch it. I'm I'm six months pregnant. I don't want to have to go anywhere to watch the game. I want to watch it from my home TV and enjoy it. So join me again, tweet at Las Vegas now, hashtag next star, hashtag keep Super Bowl in Vegas. And let's let the companies know who are making these outrageous asks that as consumers, we don't want that. And it also shows support. Uh, Cox is doing everything they can to fight it, but it's great when they can say, look, the customers don't want this either. So let's find a way. Be nice to pregnant people. Let them watch it at home. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> um, and Robin, that's a great point. That is one way consumers can get control back. It's by being an educated consumer and knowing how we can take action. So it's actually joining forces. So the end result isn't that we pay more. Um, we want the right things to happen and that is how we can use our voice. It's as easy as sending a tweet as a Facebook post um, truly to help make a difference. And yes, it seems crazy, but Super Bowl is such a big event and it's really important to me and my family to be able to watch it here. My husband would truly be devastated. Um, and thankfully he's married to me so I can educate him on the process. But I, before I worked with Cox Communications, I wasn't really aware how the cost breakdown worked. I just assumed cable companies made all the decisions, but there are other people who own these stations who are negotiating contracts with our cable service providers. And again, the end cost gets communicated down to or ends with us as the customer. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I would love to see the tweets. Um, you can tweet me at PR Sarah Evans and I can give you the hashtags, websites, whatever you need to take action. But let's make sure we have the Super Bowl here in Las Vegas, please. I'll just say go team. I don't want to alienate anyone. <laughs> 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm heading over to Facebook Live at my Facebook account, Sarah Evans, and uh, I'll see you guys there. And I, I'm, I am not a football fanatic. I, I watch it as a supportive wife um, with my husband and my son and all of our friends. We're together every Sunday. It's become um, more of a community um, event for me. I love that we can see everyone and make good food and, and hang out. And it's fun to learn about everybody's favorite teams and um, see our friends' nuances when they watch games or their um, different things that they have to do, like not changing their socks or wearing a certain hat for, for good, look, good luck charms for games has been a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. And if you live in Las Vegas, let's make sure that we can keep it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again soon.